Hey guys, I hope you're having a wonderful week and a good Friday so far. And I hope you also enjoyed the videos that Ruthie made earlier in the week. I saw that she made ice cream and a really fun craft. And I hope you guys have at least had a chance to do either one of those or both of those sometime during the week. But I also have a really fun devotional that I wanted to share with you guys and I, I hope you enjoy it. It starts with a question. Who invented Frisbees? Now, we have Frisbees all over the place, but we never really think about somebody had to invent this. I'll tell you the story. So it says, using a pie plate to play with doesn't sound like much fun, but that's not what the students at Yale University thought. They tossed the plates back and forth to each other on the college grounds after they had bought and eaten the pies baked in the tin plates by the Frisbee Pie Company. To warn people to watch out for the flying pie plate, the students would yell out, Frisbee! It's kind of the same thing with golf. You yell, four! The first plastic toy shaped like a pie plate came from Fred Morrison in 1948, but he called it a Pluto Platter. Everyone at that time was excited about outer space, and the plastic disc looked like a flying saucer. But the name didn't work. Too many people thought the toy was named after the Disney cartoon character, Pluto the Dog. The name was finally changed to Frisbee, with two E's at the end rather than an I-E at the end, just because it wanted to be a little different from the pie company name. In the meantime, Mr. Morrison thought of an interesting way to sell his toy. He went to a county fair and bought a booth. Well, rented it, because they can't really buy them, but he rented it. Then he walked through the fairgrounds pretending that he was stringing up a wire and yelling, Make way! Make way for the wire! Mr. Morrison was trying to get people's attention. He told the crowd that gathered around him that he would toss the frisbee, which would then float magically across the wire to his assistant. That's exactly what the frisbee appeared to do. Mr. Morrison told the crowd that he would give the frisbee away for free, but they must buy 100 yards of the imaginary wire for one cent a yard. Interesting. Of course people knew that the wire was just a joke, but they wanted the frisbee anyway. The college boys who first started throwing pie plates around had no idea that they were inventing a new game. They thought they were just having fun. God likes to see the young people in his family playing and having a good time. The Bible says, Be happy, young man, while you are young and let your heart give you joy in the days of your youth. Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse 9. So the big thing here is you guys have a, a wonderful opportunity to go have fun. And it's getting warmer outside, so you can go and hang out outside. You don't always have to be stuck just inside, uh, just watching TV or anything like that. You can actually have fun. You can make slime. You can make belief. You can read books. All kinds of things that you can do for fun. Because God loves seeing you guys have fun. And I like seeing you guys have fun too. And I hope to see you guys in person soon. But if nothing else, we'll see you in the next video. Bye!